and I'm telling you, majority of my portfolio when I first started is based off of this light setup. Hey, hey, shake up the models, fashion and point photographer here in New Jersey. And today I'm going to show you how to do three point light setup for making cinematic video in studio. Let's go. I'm here in my studio in New Jersey in an undisclosed location. And this is where I shoot all my models, all my product photography, and all my fashion photography. If you are a model, make sure you contact me on social media. Subscribe to this channel. This channel is for you. All right, so currently I have all three lights on. I got the key light on, I got the full light on, and I got my hair light on. So this is a three light setup. Key light, fill light, hair light. The way you set them up is you wanna make sure your key is your strongest light. That means it is the most important light inside your footage. So it has to be the light closest to you. Right now my key light's about four feet in front of me, right? To the angle to the left, okay? So it's on an angle towards me. I have the fill light. The fill light's job is to fill in the shadows that my key light creates. So fill light, by the definition, to fill in the shadows. It's about twice the distance that I am right now that my key light is from me. So this is about four feet, my key light, and then my fill light is about eight feet. Now behind me and above me, I have what's called the hair light. The hair light's job is one job only to separate you from the background. So I'm gonna show you through these three light setups using one light at a time what each individual light does and I'm gonna describe the goal behind them all. Now I personally love this light by itself. I could stop right here and do the rest of the video in this light. It's my favorite type of lighting because when I started doing photography, assisting a celebrity photographer in New York, we mainly shot our subjects with one light. And we used a light to actually light the subject and light the background together. So if you wanted a great background, kind of like that magazine cover look for Vogue, or maybe a magazine cover look for Harvest Bazaar, and you can use one light to accomplish that, okay? And I'm telling you, majority of my portfolio when I first started is based off of this light setup. I absolutely adore it. It's my go-to thing. If I'm in a cramp, if I'm in a rush, take the light, make sure it's about 45 degrees from the camera, 45 degrees angle down and facing the subject and bring it in close. Now, problem is though, it's too dramatic. And most of the time, if the scene doesn't require a dramatic scene when you're making a film or even when you're doing portraits, you want to create what's called a more even look, right? So that's where the fill light comes into play. The fill light's job is to fill in the shadows that the main light or the key light creates. I'm gonna stop calling the main light, but I want you guys to know that it's called the key light, but it's supposed to, it's the main light. That's why it's called the key light, right? So the fill light fills in the shadows that the key light creates. So when I turn on this fill light now, you're gonna see that it's gonna dramatically reduce the shadows and it's also gonna light the background a little bit so this gray should turn to a lighter gray. There you go. All right. Now, things lighten up in here a little bit, right? Now all the shadows are gone. All those dark shadows I had inside of my face, they're gone now because the fill light came and it literally filled in some of the shadows of the light, which is good. So now, these two light setups, this is where most people stop. I don't think you should stop here, I think you should keep going. And this is where the hair light comes into play. Now, with these two lights together, the problem with having lots of lights or main lights is that what starts to happen is that the depth of field disappears. So the background, even though it's like the background is about 10 feet behind me, it appears to be very close. And that's because even lighting creates a very flat look for video and for portraits, right? So the hair light's job is to separate me from the background by creating light on the back of my head, on the top of my hair, and fold on my shoulders or kind of like edges me out like rim light, right? I'm gonna plug that in right now and so you guys can see. All right, and you can see that the 
Key light, it's a little bit cooler than my key light and my fill light. And I like that. The balance of the two, if you properly white balance, it creates a really good look, all right? So now the here light is on me. You can see it's ripping me and edging me out from the background. I'm separated from the background now, okay? Now I like really hot light. It makes the subjects pop. It gives you that cinematic look. This is the three light, three point lighting setup look, all right? But I want to show you what the hair light does by itself. So I'm going to set off this light and that light so you can see what the hair light does all by itself. Very cool in here, right? Now, without these two lights, I'm in complete shadow. But it does look very angelic, right? It looks like God is sending me light from the heavens, right? You feel very angelic. So depending on what your creative idea is, this light could be perfect for you. I also want to let you know that you can use this light in a combination with this light or that light for your creative needs. But just, I want you to understand what these three lights do together and independently of each other, okay? So the here light, like I said, it just rims me out, edges me out, falls onto my shoulders a little bit. And it's kind of like me being backlit a little bit, creating a silhouette, right? So that's what the hair light does. I'm gonna turn these other two lights back on. All right. So there you have it. That's the three point lighting setup. Really simple, anyone could do it. Anyone could do it. Your main focus is knowing where to put your key light, where to put your fill light, and where to put the hair light. Now, the hair light is on a C-stand with a boom arm, unlike these other two lights, which don't have booms. The reason for that is the boom arm is designed to take the light stand out of the picture, right? So we can push this light stand further back and we can boom the light right behind me without the light being directly behind me with the stand. That's the important thing about that, all right? So in my studio here, we love shooting new clients. We love shooting new models and new guests. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate you. And subscribe to this channel. I'm constantly looking for new talent to work with. If you're an aspiring model, contact me on social media, DM me, and let's start shooting immediately. Immediately. All right? It's been a great pleasure talking with you guys, showing you what three-point lighting is, and make sure you check out some of my other videos. The content should fit you. It's creative content featuring local models in New Jersey and New York area, okay? Until then, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.